So in this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how to cut and solder LED tape. Uh, for the purposes of the demonstration I've taken a piece of LED tape um, which has got a fault on it. As you can see there's an area of tape here that isn't illuminated. So what do we do to repair it? So as you can see the area of LEDs that are actually out are between these two cutting points here. So all we'll simply do is we'll simply cut off along the cutting point a piece of tape concerned. I'm going to re-solder the flying leads on the end which are connected to a simple jack plug to go into the driver back onto the tape. So I'm now going to demonstrate how to reconnect the flying leads from the end of the piece of tape onto the new section of tape. So first of all we need to have a soldering iron which is nice and hot and we need to apply a little bit of solder to the end of the iron in order to tin it. We then need to take the end of the tape where the flying leads are already connected, touch the soldering iron onto the soldered joint, warming it up and then we can simply pull off the cable when it's hot enough to remove. So as you can see the cables come off quite easily once the solder has been heated at the end of the tape. So we can now discard this piece of tape and then we can reconnect these two pieces of wire onto the new section of tape. So before the tape's ready to be soldered in place there's usually some kind of a coating over the top of the um, copper strips so we need to just gently scrape away any coating using a, uh, a blade or in this case a Stanley knife or even a, the end of a screwdriver would do the trick. So we simply scrape off the coating from the copper tabs. It's ready then to accept the solder. So what we do is we heat up the copper tab on the end and we apply just a little bit of solder in order to tin the copy tab. Let's do one on that side then we do the negative connection on this side. So first of all we heat it up again making sure your soldering iron is nice and hot. Apply a little bit of solder to the joint and drag the soldering iron off the end of the tape to avoid it going into a blob of solder. Taking the flying leads from the end of the LED tape from the previous connection we then need to make sure that the ends of the cable are stripped back by about five millimeters and then we need to tin the ends of the cable as such. So we need to get our piece of solder, we need to warm up the end of the cable and again using a very hot soldering iron and we need to just gently apply a bit of solder to the end of the cable and you'll see that will melt into the strands very nicely on that one. I'm going to repeat that for the other side. Okay. So we're now going to attach the negative terminal onto the end of the tape and to apply heat first of all, a little bit of solder to the joint and uh, Fraser's going to just keep that in position while his hand burns away. <laughs> And we can just make sure that that tape is then connected on. You just hold that steady for a few seconds more. You'll see the solder changes colour very slightly. We then know it's completely connected together. And then we can check to see if that uh, tape's been fully repaired and all the LEDs are illuminated. So we plug the tape in and as you can see we've cut out the section. We're now back to normal. Thank you for watching.